So here in this video, let us uh, solve a problem based on median of continuous frequency distribution. So what's different in this problem is that, okay, let's first take a look at the problem. It says a survey regarding heights in centimeters of 51 girls of class 10 of a school was conducted and the following data was obtained. Height less than 140 cent centimeters, it was 4 girls, less than 145, 11, less than 129 and so on. Here it's not grouped frequency distribution of any sort here. It is, it is kind of grouped but it is mainly cumulative, right? So you've got less than 165, 51 which also includes less than 140. So you can't be able to do much. So you need to like specify, you know, you need to split it up. It says less than 140. That means these four girls are only less than 140 and they're not equal to 140. So what we have to do is we need to group them in a different way. Say for example, this is what we have to do. Now height in centimeters. So what we need to say below 140. The second one is going to be between 140 and 145, okay? There may be girls who measure 140, but nobody would be 145. The greater limit in this group is 144. Nobody measures 145. So here it starts from 145, it goes up to 150, but nobody goes to 150. It is in between 145 and 150. It is 145 is included, but 150 is not. It stops at 149. And then we have 150 to 155, and 155 to 160, and then 160 to 165. And then now the number of girls, you know, it, it will be called as a frequency in this case now. This will be 4, no doubt, but will it be 11 next? No, it won't be 11 next because it has to be. 11 minus 4, only 7 of them. If out of 11, 4 of them are less than 140, then only 7 of them are going to be more than 140 and less than 145, right? So you need to go reverse way now, you know, in the previous problems we used to find, now this is the cumulative frequency which is mentioned here, so we need to find the frequency. So we need to subtract 29 minus 11 is 18, 40 minus 29 is 11. 46 minus 40 is 6, 51 minus 46 is 5. So this is the frequency. And then we get cumulative frequency, CF. So cumulative frequency will be the same as this, 4, 11, 29, 40, 46, and 51. So now it is as usual. The problem is back to the normal stuff. So the, so the most important thing in this problem was to get back the data. You know, write the data in a normal way. It was given in... A little different way so we need to get that to the normal way and then you know we can start solving it so here it is very clear we've got n equals uh, 51 so therefore we have n by 2 which is equal to 51 by 2 which is 25.5 so we need to find the cumulative frequency greater than 25.5 which is 29 the corresponding class interval to that is 145 to 150. So once you get this data, we have L equals 145. And then we have the frequency corresponding to this equal to 18. And then the cumulative frequency corresponding to the preceding group of this is 11. So F equals 11. And then we've got the size of the class interval is 5. So H equals 5. So now that we've got all these data, we need to we need to substitute all these things in the formula. Median equals small l plus n by 2 minus capital F, which is the cumulative frequency, divided by small f times h. So we've got uh, the small l is 145 plus n by 2 is 25.5 minus the capital F, that is the cumulative frequency, is 11 divided by the small f which is 18 times 5. So we've got 145 plus 25.5 minus 11 is nothing but 14.5. So 14.5 times 5 divided by 18. Solving this we get 149.03. So this is nothing but it is the height, right? The median height of the girl. So it is 149.03 centimeters. Therefore, 
the median height of the 51 girls in class 10 is found to be 149.03 centimeters. Now, before I conclude this video, I'd like to say that uh, the only difference in this problem was that, you know, converting this kind of a data into this kind of a data. That's the most important thing. You know, it was just less than type. So you need to like make it a group thing, find the frequency more importantly, that is what is going to, you know, lead you to the answer. So that is when you can solve this problem like this. So yeah, that ends this video and the problem as well. So I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts.